This is such an ibadah worship. When you pray salah, you pray salah, alhamdulillah. When you recite Quran at a certain time, alhamdulillah. You do some nawafil actions, alhamdulillah. You are regular in tahajjud, uh, alhamdulillah, many times over. Great deeds, good deeds. But with regards to dhikr of Allah, his remembrance, Allah says that I don't want to see you lazy or negligent for even one minute. I want that my servant, and this is the way that you should be grateful as a servant, that every second you should be busy in my dhikr. This is sitting, sleeping, walking, standing. That's the only thing you should be doing is focusing your thoughts and remembrance to Allah. So Allah has told us to do this. So let's analyze in Ramadan that how much how we connected to Allah in this way through dhikr dhikr is such a great ibadah for, for about which Allah said that not for a minute should you be ghafil or ignorant in my, from my remembrance always you should be immersed in my dhikr Allah says how much do we do this think about it that's why Allah Ta'ala gave us Ramadan so that we can develop the fikr for this and so we can fulfill those gaps in our lives how much life is left tell me how many breaths are left in our life yeah, the, the breaths are a certain amount Allah has given to us. We've come here, we've sat here, because it's Ramadan, okay, we'll do good actions, we'll learn some good deeds, we'll do dhikr. This is the barakah and the love of Ramadan that has brought us here. So this is the message of Ramadan, that you need to continue this action for the rest of your life, because you were created for this eating, earning, wearing clothes. That's not why Allah Ta'ala created you. Allah created you, us, all of us. Did Allah say, make bread uh, and make money and make buildings and hoard wealth? Allah Ta'ala hasn't said this. For this, Allah Ta'ala says, that it's my responsibility to give to you the sustenance and the provisions. Well, don't worry, you will get as much as you need. But you have one duty, Allah Ta'ala says, that stay busy in my dhikr. Don't forget me, Allah Ta'ala says. So at least, at least this message of Ramadan, we should definitely understand it. Because the words that Ramadan is training and teaching us, it's not that uh, just for the sake of it. No, it's like they've died. Allah Ta'ala says that the difference between this is the hadith of the Prophet the difference between he who does dhikr and he who doesn't do dhikr is like the one who does dhikr is alive and the one who doesn't do dhikr is dead. So this is not life we've eaten, we've drank. No. The person who doesn't do dhikr of Allah it's recorded that he has passed away. He's deceased. We don't believe these words, these hadith when we read them we don't believe in them. Reality. So let's have a look at this situation. Why do people change? Are they mad? Those who are always turning to Allah, focusing on Allah. They have yaqeen and belief in these hadith. Their iman and yaqeen is strong. They don't just read, but they believe in those words. We read, just like we read the Quran, but we don't have yaqeen in the Quran. If we had yaqeen, then wouldn't we practice the words of the Quran? So does the Quran not say, Wadkur rabbika fi nafsi? That what a great statement Allah is saying here. That not for a minute, not for a moment should your heart be empty or not remembering me. Allah Ta'ala says, وَذْكُرُوا Kathira Allah says, remember me in abundance. So if we read this, then why don't we have conviction on this? On this verse, why don't we believe in this? Why don't we bring that into being? We're standing, sitting, lying down, sleeping. Allah says, remember me. So you want to attain taqwa. Just like Ramadan has come to give us taqwa. So Allah instructs, I'll give you a good, great month. And I've also kept another place of taqwa. So Ramadan gives taqwa. And also sobat of the shaykh gives taqwa. The company of the awliyala. Ramadan will pass. Then what do we do? Will taqwa go? Will it disappear? No. Allah says, what taqullah? Kunu ma'as sadiqeen. A day to the company. Allah says, when Ramadan goes, then a day and visit and spend time in the company of the pious people, you yourself will become muttaqi. So this action, if you do this, Yes, because the friends of Allah, they don't have horns on their heads. They do dhikr of Allah, they practice sunnah, they do good deeds. That don't do dhikr with your hands, the tasbih or your tongue. It's the dhikr of the heart that Allah Ta'ala wants. This is what He desires. So that always, because the heart's always beating, your hands are busy in the world, you're working, you're running your shop, you're at home, you're with your wife, children, but your heart should continue to do dhikr of Allah. So how should we do that? We learn this dhikr. Otherwise your name will be recorded in the list of the dead people. I'm telling you, if you do dhikr, then, then if you remember Allah's name in the heart, then you are alive. So the dead person and the alive person, they're opposite. So the, the sign of a person who's alive is not eating, drinking,